Oregon right now. Throughout my skating career, I had to learn so many different things. Hard work, discipline, and a lot of patience. That's the question we pose to the stars of the sport, what they learned from skating. to be afraid to test myself, to do something that maybe scares you a little bit. I mean, the Olympic medal in 68 was wonderful, but I don't go around thinking about that all the time, but it's a, a background confidence that I know I've got there. Every life lesson, it, you know, can happen on the ice. Failure, success, uh, you have to handle them equally. You know, you, you, you can't dismiss failure, nor can you revel in success. You've got to you know, balance those out. Um, that's important to everyday life. I was aware of uh, political change around the world because of skating, and that got me interested into uh, geography and history and politics. And I, I guess if I wouldn't have traveled to all those places, I probably wouldn't be interested into those things. I was so serious about being a champion at a very young age that it was sort of my reality. And the discipline and the willpower and the focus that goes into that, it, it has shaped the person who I am. The greatest thing about it is that it was something that I really wanted to do as a child. Now I'm, you know, doing all this medicine and, you know, blood, sweat and tears and guts. And to think back and say, you know what, one time you were the best in the world at something. And nobody can ever take it away from you. Not the medals, not the results, not the money, uh, but uh, the way it opened my mind on the world. Uh, the different culture I touch, the different friends uh, I made. The gift of really knowing myself more than maybe I would have doing any other kind of, of thing. When you get out on the ice, I mean, it really shows you to the core of what you're about, what you're made of. Winning the Olympics opened so many doors in my life. It created a whole new life for me. All these different possibilities open up to you, and it's, it's really up to you what you make of them. What makes me the happiest is being able to share it with David and the fact that, you know, he never really wanted to be a figure skater. He wanted to be a hockey player like every Canadian boy growing up, and, and that we met and that it all happened. And when I'm out performing on the ice, I know I'm where I'm supposed to be. The Americans are still to come as the ice dance continues from Cup of Russia.